welcoming my Jack and my William. Jack is here today to show and share his story and how he has overcome his mental health adversities and learning difficulties such as dyslexia. So if you'd like to come over to the main stage and welcome Jack, that would be great. Thank you. Alright guys, we're going to start in a second now, in a second, so it's just easy to put there, put a jump on it, and ready when you are guys. Brilliant, brilliant, sounds good, sounds good. So, my name is Jack Holden, and today I'm going to share with you my story to hopefully inspire some of you, motivate some of you, empower some of you. But before I jump in, I'm going to start with a poem. It's just my traditional thing, what I normally do to try and get you all engaged. So, my poem goes like this, it goes... Like a lion in a cage My heart pumps, blood rages Ambition to set up my game To conquer and defeat at my games Trapped inside and attached to my past Yet I pursue whilst others laugh I am a champion, raised to win with the power in my bones and the voices within. I can, I will, and I must. In this game, it's down to trust. To win is a must. For those who see no hope, I aspire to inspire when it's tough and they feel the rope. From darkness to light, I don't just do this for me. There ain't no mind. I will conquer, I will fight. My enemies will fall and take flight. You see, I'm dangerous, I'm crazy. But I am a champion, it's how God made me. Thank you, thank you for that, I really appreciate it. So, today I'm going to get into my story. It's quite a big story because I've been, unfortunately, been put in hospital twice. So, my mental health condition is called bipolar. And it's a really hard condition to have because, you know, some days, you don't want to get out of bed and sometimes you feel a little bit high as a kite and it's hard to get that right balance, it's hard to feel stable most of the time but I'm here today to give you my honest story my authentic version of me and be myself and you guys to tell you what it's really like going through a mental health hospital what it's like going through some dark times and what it's like coming back into the light and achieving your goals in despite of your circumstances no matter what people say about you, no matter what people may think about you with mental health conditions. So here it goes. I'm about 19 years old and I'm pursuing my goals, my dreams and everything on the outside seems perfect. I'm trying to get into TV and I'm working with people like Lorraine Keller, Amir Khan, FK Twigs, Team GB, just to name a few. And I'm running so fast towards my dreams, my goals and my aspirations and everything seems to be coming together for me on the outside. But on the inside, I've got personal conflicts, I've got stressful relationships and toxic relationships with friends, and all this stress just started to overwhelm me. I even had lectures at the university set at eight and I know like, look Jack, it's not right for you to work in TV while you're doing a course, you need to just stick to one thing. And you, that, that stress, that conflict of they were saying to me, you know, stick to one thing. Like, affected me because I thought it was there to support me getting to the career that I wanted. So we had all these different opinions, all these different contrasts and things going on that really affected me in a negative way. So I ended up having a mental health breakdown for the first time, and it was scary because it wasn't just an ordinary mental health breakdown, it was a psychosis episode. So when I got into hospital, I ended up taking a pill that was prescribed by the doctors that knocked me out. I woke up in hospital and I thought I was in Dixieland. I thought I had died and ended up going to heaven. That's how scary the situation was. I went and looked to my left, I seen someone who looked a bit like Jesus in my eyes. I looked to my right, I thought I seen three wise men. But guess what? The thing was, it was all in my own head. It was all these delusional thoughts. But for any kid who wakes up in hospital and they don't know where they are, you, it is a scary situation to be in because it's the first time I've been away from my family. It's the first time that I've been away from anyone before in my life. I wake up like 
walking around to keep bright lights, you start to think only delusional things, and you see people behaving in very strange ways. But it was a sad time in there because there was people in there who was trying to commit suicide on a day to day basis. It was hard because I didn't understand what was going on. But reality hit me and somebody's on the phone to a takeaway I was saying, I'm in a mental asylum. That's when I, there you go. And that's when it clicked. That's when reality started to hit for me. So when I was on the come down, I got really upset, got really emotional. I rang my parents and said, Mum, Dad, I can't believe you put me in here. Why have you put me in this place? I'm not mental, there's nothing wrong with me. And that's when he explained to me what had happened to me. And I started to come down to an understanding of what was going on. But I poured my heart, my soul, into all the people who was in there. Because when they was going through their dark times, so was I. When they was going through their stress, their cir circumstances, I was going through the same thing with them. And I was saying to them this message. I was saying, you can become anything, no matter what your situation is, no matter what your circumstances are, you can become whatever it is that you want in life, in despite of these mental health challenges you're facing. You've got the spirit of a lion. I said to him this, and that's when the doctor questioned what I was saying. He ran up to me and said, Jack, do you believe you're a lion? He said, no, I said, I've got the spirit of a lion. And I believe that each and every single one of us have got the spirit of a lion. And that's where things started to get more positive for me. Even though the doctors was questioning what I was doing, I could see the value of what I was doing, because I was seeing people change in a positive way, going from depression states to positive states of mind. After 19 days of being locked up, I got up, I got up and I got out. I was fortunate that I was in there for a short space of time and I was recovering well. But then life hit me on the blind side. My relationship for five years had just ended. And when you go through a relationship breakdown, that can have a massive effect on your mental health as well. So I had a broken heart and a broken mind at the same time. And that was a really challenging experience for me to go through. But I had to learn my lessons and my lessons was, I had to give myself a positive purpose to wake up for in the morning. And I had, a, I had a written a book called On The Job, which had been written for two years, well, three years ago. It got written in two years, it was sat on the shelf collecting dust. And then I decided, you know what, I'm gonna get this book published and prove a point to myself that I can become whatever it is I want still in my life. So after getting laser focused and thinking, you know what, how can I achieve this goal? Laser focused on picking up the phone to a publisher. After five weeks of battling and battling, scraping and